Hello there. All right, episode nine of season four of Angel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the individual episode um, uploads. I, I tend to enjoy them a bit more. They tend to do a bit better and the conversations, the interactions, the comments are a bit better. So we are up to episode nine of season four titled A Long Day's Journey. And I'm not going to lie, a couple of the last episodes with Angel, uh, with this new rock demon coming, um, have been really good. The action has been really great and yeah it's been a lot more bloody as well um and it's been really interesting seeing wesley back in the crew and yeah i'm really enjoying it but then it leaves you with a bad taste in your mouth seeing the connor cordelia relationship but then everything else is actually really fun and decent so we'll let that slide even though i'm not going to let it slide but we let it slide um we don't let it uh, ruin the episode quality overall, even though we may think it does. But yeah, let's waste no more time. This is episode nine of season four, A Long Day's Journey. Let's go. I work better alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I see. It's all about you, silly old Lorne. Thinking it was about saving the world from ending. Hundreds of people that I couldn't save. And it keeps showing up around my kid. See. My kid who's not entirely on making with the moves on the girl who might have been. <laughs> See, I'm going to pause quickly. Angel is a bit frustrated. Obviously, he's clearly frustrated getting his ass handed to him by that demon, um, the rock demon. And he's also clearly frustrated at Cordelia and Connor. Like, more than frustrated. I think frustrated is an understatement at what he's feeling with that. Um... But clearly there's a lot going on for him and it's going to be interesting to see how he changes because he, he's already been clearly like a bit anxious and just unnervy and rattled this uh, interaction with Lorne already. He's just, he's really unsettled and he's just uh, clicking it. He's he's losing it. He's not as composed. Um, and there's so many frustrations adding to that. But I think the main one is obviously Cordelia and Connor. Add to that the demon handing, uh, the demon kicking Angel's ass, but, <laughs> and running amok around LA. But it's going to be interesting to see how Angel's attitude changes towards the other characters, not just Cordelia. We've already seen the attitude towards Cordelia. You can take your boyfriend and leave. But it's going to be interesting to see if he takes it on on all the other characters. And so far, to Lorne, he is. And he, yeah, he doesn't have that composure. You want to shove that into English for me? I know about Connor and Cordelia. It's a, it's a vibe. It's a thing. I know. What can I say? You can say goodbye. Take a <laughs> hike. <laughs> See? <laughs> Connor's still gonna be your son, you know. When it's all said and done. Dude, you gotta remember. There's other fish in the sea. That is true. But like, I swear sometimes, if you meet the right one, you just chuck all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> oh. Is that the Electro Girl? Is, it, is her name Cassie? Carrie? Cassie? I think it's Cassie. Said, perhaps then I won't kill you for your. Oh! Oh! Yo! That guy seemed like. I don't know. I was interested in his character and then he just got destroyed by the Rock Demon in two seconds. Two seconds is an understatement. This guy is just taking souls of everyone that's powerful. I love how my guy provided no audio as well. No one heard him coming from behind like that. Usually the guy's footsteps has been loud as hell the last few episodes. That doesn't want me here. It's because they think I'm connected to the beast. It's why you don't want me either. Angel knows we slept together. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't go back to the hotel. And he's extremely upset with both of us right now. We didn't do anything wrong. Uh, the we heard him. Yeah. That's enough. My sources have already confirmed that without the little girl, the earthly contingent of Wolfram and Hart is cut off from the senior partners, effectively oh. neutralized. Damn. However, it appears that was not her only function. I've just found an entry in Reinhardt's companion for that same little girl, or rather the entity presenting itself as one. <laughs> Her name is Mesek Tit. Hmm. See, Mesek Tit was one of five enormously powerful beings, which are linked to an embodiment of the ancient god Ra. Which makes them totems, right? Symbolic manifestations. Yes, totems which together form an order called the Ra-Tet. Must be big. Never heard of them. <laughs> That's because their origins have been shrouded in mystery since the dawn of time. 
So maybe he killed this message set for another reason. I'll give you <laughs> You want to update Angel? Mr. Do Not Disturb, doubt it. The answer is among you. Remember? I love how that entire scene, Wesley was just only making eye contact with Fred. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Let's skip to the end where you leave and we don't talk about it. <laughs> Aren't you going to ask how Connor's doing? Like I really want to prod this report. That's not what I meant. Why you stop being angry at me? How about you stop pretending to give a damn about my feelings? Oh! I do give a damn. Yeah, but you... In fact... I give a whole lot of damn. I came over here to tell you, get over it. Woo! <laughs> I had a vision this morning. Get over it. Of the beast. <laughs> you know, I never really thought about that. Angel was about to link get it. Get over it. Why didn't I think about that? Hmm? It's so simple. Angel. Get over the girl of your I'm dreams. Sorry, I hurt you. Sleeping with your son. It was the last thing in the world I wanted to do, but you have to get past it. And you have to get past it now because there are bigger things at stake. Son needs you. Listen, it is what it is. What's done is done. You're not going to be able to change the past unless there's some time traveling thing, okay? But it is what it is. That feeling or that image of Connor sleeping with Cordelia is going to be in Angel's mind forever. He's taking that down to the depths of the ocean if he goes there again. It's just going to be there forever. It's done. And I don't think... Angel can get with Cordelia ever again because of that. Like, he cannot see Cordelia the same way again. Cordelia is right in some points. Like, you have to get over it. People need you. She's right there because, yeah, potential, potentially more people are going to die and that rock demon is going to wreak havoc over LA. And we've seen it. We've seen what it's capable of. It took down Wolfram and Hart with ease, the LA branch of Wolfram and Hart because there's multiple ones around the world. But took down that branch. It severed the connection the senior partners have on earth due to killing or taking the soul of that girl and um it, it doesn't look like it's going to stop but yeah that is right angel has to get back into the action and not continue to lock himself up but i don't think his feelings for cordelia are going to change it's going to be a while for him to get over the girl of your dreams sleeping with your son like that bit is going to be hard to get over <laughs> sure we've been i don't want to say demolished <laughs> beaten Hey, no, sure, it's you... slightly demoralizing. But from here on out, we're on the offensive. We're going to find out this thing's weaknesses. We're going to go unprepared, and we're going to fight smart. It's time to take down the beast. You got more than beaten. You Demolished was the right word. We're all behind you, Angel. A hundred percent. But how can we be prepared when there's nothing on this thing? And weaknesses? Not a short bet El Destructo has any. <laughs> Everyone has an Achilles heel. Yeah, well, until we find his, we're going to be cool on ours because we got nothing without a new lead. Hey, yo. <laughs> Gwen. Hey, Hi there. Oh, it's Gwen. It's Gwen. My bad. Hey, remember about Lauren saying there's plenty of fish in the sea? Hey, if Angel doesn't go for her, I'm going to slide in. Okay? It's just, it is what it is. Okay? It's just, it, it, I, okay? There's an opportunity for Angel here. I'm rooting for my boy. But if he doesn't go for it, listen. Like I said, hey. Long time no hand-to-hand. -hand. <laughs> I remember you. Yeah, that's right. That guy you killed? Yeah, that's him. Kicked you in the face too, didn't I, Cherry? Everyone's threatened. Sorry about that. I really do try to avoid contact. I like it. <laughs> Mostly. Cordelia, this is... I know who she is. The girl who makes his heart go pitter-pat. Not anymore. Figuratively, oh. at least. Still, yeah, but like... You must be so happy. I am. Not having the best week, to be honest. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's easy. All we have to do is find Semcat and protect him. Yeah, well, won't that be a hoot? Well, it looks like Semcat is putty tat to the world's scariest six-year-old. Could be dangerous. I'll take Gwen. <laughs> Gee, you're all warm inside. Put her up on the drive. But it's a four-hour trip. Both ways. I'm sure we'll find something to talk about. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's a lot to talk about. The character interactions are much more spicy now. And obviously, this rock demon's hunting these totems of Ra, the Egyptian god, I think. And yeah, he's taken out two of them so far, or three of them now, because that was one of Gwen's, I guess, clients. 
and then the girl from Wolfram and Hart, I think another one um, along his ways. And yeah, I love how like the Buffyverse always invents like special entities that we've never heard of and just delves deep into it. Like there's so many over time that like they can just, they have an endless list of demons and like potential entities they can invent and connect them to some sort of like gods in the past or anything. <laughs> oh, of course. It's a liar, that's the truth. Hey Cordelia, you can stay with Connor. Oh, damn, this show has up the goal tenfold, and I, I like it. So much for protecting it. He's gonna turn out the sun. That guy came out of nowhere and just provided, like, the information and goal of the demon in a Hawaii suit. What do you do? Or, doing? like, a beach. Button up. Standing in the remains of my fallen brethren, trying not to have an anxiety attack. Who are you two? I'm Angel, that's Gwen. I am Manjet. Sacred guardian of the Shen, keeper of the orb of Ma'at, devotee of light. Off hours, I like Manny. <laughs> Thought you were in Belize. Was till I heard Masak Ted got whacked. Never liked that chick. <laughs> Evil right down to her Mary Jane. But f family, what are you gonna do? What you said? Blot out the sun permanently. Oh, there's some Transformers Revenge of the Fallen stuff. Dead, the sun disappears. Uh, not disappears exactly, and it's not just killing us either. Uh, there, there's props and a ritual and a chant and a thing and a. Pff, suffice to say, it ain't easy. And I used to find you on a higher plane. It's worth thirty-three million dollars. I gave it back to Gwen when I was done. Hey, <laughs> for shift. Uh, women make more sense to split up. One superpower per shift. That way, if Hornboy shows up, we mere mortals might stand a chance. Makes sense to me. Okay, then. I'll take Denzel. Uh, actually, it's done. <laughs> Not that I mind the freakishly accurate comparison, but you will keep your hands to yourself. Four hours on, four hours off. Bunk down, off duty. Get as much sleep as we can. We're already tired. Got a long few days ahead of us. Don't suppose this joint's got skinamax. And this, this final totem. Hey, hey, hey. Creepy man <laughs> in the human ball. Second gardener and the fourth nanny I got sent to the academy. Just, just thinking. Gun, I already apologized for killing you. And what do you want to wake? Is it that? Then it's the English guy, isn't it? I saw the way he looked at your girl. <laughs> a good thief is a master of body language. He starts talking about his body. He's gonna have a serious problem. Magazines about half an hour ago to keep him occupied. Swimsuit edition. He's occupied. <laughs> Come on. Show you waking crash. Oh, these two on watch. Gonna be great. So the divorced couple. All this time alone together. Could be good for us. Maybe we should talk. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> Valid point. It's it's tough. It's tough. These two look like a couple that's about to divorce. Like the, the papers have been signed and they just want it done. <laughs> Thing is as well, Cordelia is meant to be what, 21, 22? And I feel like she looks older than that. Like in terms of the way she dresses and stuff like that. Um she's way mature than a 21 year old. Um even like we go back to Buffy, Willow, Xander. I feel like they somewhat seem, even Buffy somewhat seems like she's 21, 22. Um, but Cordelia, Charisma Carpenter, like she looks fantastic, obviously. But I kind of see, like, it kind of seems like they're trying to make her older than she is, if that makes sense. I don't know. Can you guys explain it a bit more? Like, I feel like she she's meant to be 21 and like I'm 22, right? And look at me. I do. I, I'm, I'm a flop, right? I'm a flop, <laughs> like, I, I, I'm still a kid, <laughs> like, I still, like, act so childish, and compared to the maturity of Cordelia, obviously, she's probably, she's been, um, I guess, she's been, I was about to say blessed, but she's been, um, I guess, given the powers to have those visions, and she's been a higher being, so maybe you can explain it like that, she's matured um, way quicker, uh, for her age because of the experiences she's had. Maybe you can explain it that way. Angel, get up. Cordy. Cordy, come on, snap out of it. Please. 
I'm awake. What the hell are you doing falling asleep on watch? Sleep. Did the demon make him fall asleep? And he quickly... Mm. Yep, there we go. Oh, man, he got absolutely violated. Pick up. Think? I swear this demon can turn into a ninja whenever he wants. Way, the beast found where we were hiding, spiked the drinks we made ourselves. True. Snuck through this unreasonably large apartment on the tippy toes of his cloven feet right up to the vault and <laughs> killed poor Manny unseen and unheard. Somehow. Good questions, Gordelia. Maybe whoever did it didn't have cloven feet. Or he's the answer is among you. I can't be the only one thinking it. Don't be ridiculous. Connor doesn't even know where we are. But he didn't call him? He doesn't have a phone. I thought we were pretty clear on the whole impossible issue. Unseen and unheard. Yeah. He has loud footsteps, man. Security cameras. Got check. him in every room. We've just got to rewind the tapes. Connor, check it out later. Like we do every other week. Go. There could be an imposter among them. Because, I mean, Cordelia and Angel's drinks got spiked, but I don't know. That's nothing. The tapes just go blank. It's like the electrics got cut. But somebody knew when you were going to take over that watch, and somebody knew whose drinks to spike. Damn. You ask me, this is an inside job. <laughs> I the time. Look, enough. Let's just focus on the guy trying to blot out the sun and point fingers later. I think we found a way to get rid of the beast. A portal. Yeah, but the demon came... Figures. We've tried conventional methods. Firearms, the usual weaponry. None of which seem to work. But if we stand against it long enough to find a way to corner it, maneuver it into position, and yeah, maybe we could send this thing back to the hell sweet hell it came from. But wouldn't it be able to just come right back? I know what you must be thinking. That we should have learned our lesson? Wesley and I have decided this is our only option. Wesley and I. <laughs> but I don't kind of like it. Oh, yo, yo. This thing's just murder. Why does it look like young Sylvester Stallone oh in its facial Other vision? areas? If only there was more of it. More bodies. Massacre. Whoever he was talking to, they felt familiar. Like someone I know. Skip? Yeah. Connor? I think it's time we bring him into this, Angel. See, with if the... nothing else, he's our best chance at finding the beast. I feel like this is a mad bait and switch here. Like, the whole bait is to take it. Like, it's Connor, 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 Connor. Everyone's saying Connor. Everyone's saying this. I don't think it is Connor. Um, I think it's going to be someone, like, will be like, oh, damn, okay. But, yeah, my first instinct of who the beast talking to, maybe Skip, someone called Dillian knows. I don't know. Trying to think who I forgot about. Connor's just chilling at home, waiting for something, probably. He has no idea. Oh. Hello. I love how he just knocked on the door instead of like smashing it down. <laughs> Bono's just gonna get his ass whooped. Damn! In the place where Connor lives. We'll figure that out later. Everybody gear up. Wes, you got everything you need? Ready. Gwen, go for the orb, the wings, whatever you can get your hands on. We can't let them finish the spell. Gun, you and I will keep the beast busy long enough for Fred and Wesley to work the portal mojo. Cordy? Keep him safe. Yo, the makeup work on the demon is really, really well done. Looks extremely uncomfortable, but it's really well done. <laughs> I'm sure they're doing okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for someone else to get flown out of that window. You are worthy. Who, who could the worthy Angel. adversary be? Yeah, I got it. Angel? Uh oh. Hey yo, this is a This is a whole world ending situation right over the sun. 
Bam. I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back from the portal. Like, this ain't the end. We did it. Eh. Didn't we? I don't know about that one. Surely the whole world hasn't noticed that the sun is going black like that. Join with me. Angels. Oh, what? So it was Angel, but we going back in time, Angel. The answer is in one word. So Angel forgot about it from his past? That can't be good. We'll meet again. Soon. It's gone. The sun is gone, like... Completely obliterated. There's Buffyverse implications here, like whole world implications. Angel, we have to talk. Listen to me. I wasn't having a vision of the demon, I was having a memory of it. How's oh. that again? I told you, when I was a higher being, I'd experienced everything you'd ever done as Angelus. But since I've been back, my memory's been fading until the powers decided to jog it, I guess. Saw you, long ago, standing in a field of bodies with the beast. You knew this thing and you didn't tell us? No. He, he didn't know. I couldn't come up against something like that and not remember. That's what the little girl meant, isn't it? It's among us. <laughs> it's never about Connor. It's about... I'm jealous. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know this beast. That's why I jog. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're a suspect. <laughs> if Cordelia's right, we should admit the possibility that this beast may have some sort of power over you. To make you do things. To make you forget. And he has a plan. I don't know what the plan is. No, but Angelus might. Oh, we're gonna have to get force. There's only one way we're gonna defeat this beast. Force reveal Angelus. We need Angelus. <laughs> ah, great. Oh, Glenn Quinn. Is, is that the guy that played, um... Uh, I forgot his name. Doyle? Is that the guy that played Doyle? Glenn Quinn? Um, but yeah, it's a wonder we have three episodes on Angel in a row in the Slayer Live Guide because this issue needs to be dealt with because if we'll jump in between Buffy and Angel, that means the next Buffy episode is going to be in broad, um, not broad daylight, in nighttime, and they're going to probably think, yo, you know, the sun just disappeared. It might be something to do with Angel or some other being, um, because this is catastrophic for the whole Buffy verse. Like, I know we've got the stupid studio, like, uh, networking divide thing so that's why Buffy can't get involved but it's something that a lot of people would begin to question even like um, the coven in England Giles stuff like that because this is a world issue here this is a world situation here like even other entities around the world will begin to question yo why is the sun gone but yeah a decent episode nonetheless and yeah obviously not falling for the bait that it was um connor um and yeah i had a few guesses grew um skip maybe someone could you know and i had angel as a guess as well it's actually angelus um and this demon has some sort of connection where it makes angelus forget and it's thanks to cordelia being able to relive all the experiences of angelus that she's able uh to find out that it is actually angel because angel has no recollection at all and he needs to find that beast within he needs to unleash angelus to, I guess, have some connection to this demon and maybe find out how to defeat it. Yeah, so we've got three episodes in a row now with Angel. This is the first of the three. And it's good to see Gwen back as well. Um, enjoying it. Um, it's good to have her in amongst the crew. We've got a sort of, like, Avengers Assembled crew here. Still a bit, um, a bit touchy with the interactions. You know, there's still a little bit of tension. And Angel has seemed to put behind the Cordelia Connor thing this episode, obviously. Um, towards the end, you've seen him put it behind him in focus of like trying to unleash Angelus, trying to solve this mystery of how to defeat this rock demon. Um, even Gunn with Wesley sort of let that slide because all the attention has been drawn to this demon. We've lost the sun. It's a big, it's a big, it's a big thing. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they deal with it. And even if Buffy references it the next few episodes or like after these episodes happen that you know, uh, the sun went away for a bit. That was that was kind of weird. There's a nighttime thing. And maybe they explained it was some sort of eclipse. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reactions to episode 9 of Angel Season 4. We make our way to episode 10 and 11 after this. As always, mini boy in the most. Take care. God bless. Peace.